Okay, Koji, are you ready to come out? Hello? Hi, come on. He says you pretty much don't like to eat anything, so my guess is that you're not gonna want this. So Koji is a Siberian forest cat. This is his first professional grooming appointment. Oh my gosh. The owner does bathe and groom his cat at home, so he is used to the grooming process, which is great. He does have some matting and that's the reason why he's here today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to trim out some of the matting using my clippers. If he is matted all over, I might have to do a full lion shave, but we're going to do our best to avoid that. Okay, so the majority of it is under here and it's pretty tight to the skin here. Wow, okay. Oh boy, that might be tough. You might notice that he is fairly tiny for a Siberian forest cat. He is the rent of the litter. He has a grade for heart murmur, which they believe is the reason why he has not grown very big. He also is not really a big fan of eating. All right, buddy, you gotta, I gotta see if you're gonna let me do this. I'm not gonna do his nails yet just because he seems very stressed out. Okay, okay, okay. One of the biggest problems about the fact that this cat is so matted is that because he has a heart murmur, he cannot be put under anesthesia or sedated because he risks his heart stopping. He is actually not neutered because the vets are worried that he might die under anesthesia. So he has to be well behaved for this grooming today. Otherwise, there is a greater risk for him to get put under. So far he's doing really well. This is the worst of his matting here. It's okay, you're being a really good boy. Really good boy. Okay, so considering how much matting he has, I don't believe I'm going to be shaving just his matting today and leaving him long because he's matted pretty well everywhere. So I'm gonna be shaving him down completely in a lion cut. Well, actually, I'm not even gonna call it a lion cut because he's not going to have a mane. So, first things first, I'm going to put the happy hoodie on him. Now, the owner told me that he is really good for the bath and the blow dry. The most important thing about this cat's groom today is that I don't cause him a lot of stress because he has a grade four heart murmur. So if I cause him a lot of stress, I really risk his life. I did talk to the owner about that a little bit. I said, you know, maybe we don't do the blow dry, which means we might not do the bath because I don't wanna cause him unnecessary stress. The owner assured me that he would be just fine for both the bath and the blow dry. But as of right now, I feel like he is a little bit stressed out and that's just getting shaved. So I am gonna shave him because he absolutely needs it. And at the end of his shave, I'm gonna decide whether or not a bath and a blow dry is in his best interest. He has some very, very strange nails for a cat. They're very thick, almost dog-like. I do believe that that is a type of medical condition, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's start the shave in a backwards 10. He is very skinny, so I do have to be a little bit cautious. When cats are really skinny, it's very easy to catch skin. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't like that you're shaking. I really don't think I'm going to end up doing the bath. On one side of things, if I bathe him, he doesn't have any hair because he's gonna be shaved. So it's not gonna take very long. On the other side of things, I don't wanna cause him unnecessary stress. So what he's not matted on his back, as you can obviously see but he is matted underneath 
his armpits, a lot of his legs, and around his chest and neck. I have a feeling the reason why he is so matted, well, first of all, he's not self-maintaining, that's for sure. He has a very strange texture to his coat. So all of that combined could be the reason. I am seeing little specks here and there. I don't see fleas, but we'll keep searching. I highly doubt this cat has fleas. He seems extremely well cared for and pampered. His matting is the reason why the owner called was for me to get that under control because he couldn't. Come here. You see under here? It's all matting under there. See? I also like putting the happy hoodie on the cat's head when I'm working on them because it protects their whiskers from getting caught in the clipper while I work. If the tail's matted. Okay, tail is not matted, so I am not going to shave it. It's okay because the tail takes the longest to grow back of any part of the cat's body. So if it's not matted, there's no sense of me shaving. All right, for the belly, I'm gonna try to put him on my lap, flip him over, and see if that will give me easier access to shaving his belly. As I don't think he's gonna let me flip him over here. Let me see. See, one more time. See? He's gonna move as soon as I let go of him. It's okay. You do have a mat there that I'd love to get out. Will you let me? Okay. Good kitty. Before I put him on my lap, I'm just gonna give him a little bit of a break, let that clipper cool down a bit, and then I will try to shave his belly. All right, it's okay. Your hair is sticking everywhere, all over the place. You're a really good cat, that's for sure. So he stopped shaking. So he isn't as nervous as he was. So he's already gotten used to his surroundings and what's going on, so that's great. So I think I am going to bathe him, especially because of how staticky his hair is. <sighs> I'm literally covered in your hair. Whipping that tail, you are not happy, but you seem to be a very gentle cat even when you're not happy so far. Okay, for precautionary reasons, I'm going to put the bubble on him. He does not like having his back legs 
or tail and butt touched. I do think he will use his nails before he uses his teeth, but I would rather he use his nails than use his teeth. Please don't swat me. One of my major problems I see here is that he is not neutered and he is really matted. Okay. 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 I still have some matting around here. All right, I'm gonna put him in a crate, give him a little bit of a break, clean up this area, and then come back and try to finish him off. Maybe with a little bit of a break, he'll calm down a bit and it'll be easier to do his back end. Okay, so I cleaned up his entire grooming area. I'm not going to bathe him, but I am going to put him into the rage cage to blow dry some of that very staticky fur that's all over him. That way I can do a smoother haircut to finish him off. Okay, Koji, you had a break. Let's try this again. Your hair sucks. I hate how staticky it is and how it sticks to everything. I mean, he's nervous about having his matted testicles shaved. And I would think that anybody would feel that way. And if they didn't, I would be well, I would have a lot of questions, but he really doesn't like anywhere in his private area being touched. I just want to smooth out this haircut because it's very uneven, but I'm going to do whatever he lets me do. The goal today was that he didn't go home matted, and we have mostly achieved that at this point. The owner told me I didn't need to be concerned about bathing him. I asked him again. Um, he said that he's not concerned that the cat will be too stressed, but I'm just gonna use my professional judgment today. Um, he is stressed about this, but he's also completely clean. So there is really, other than getting this excess hair off of him that's sticking to him because it's staticky, <sighs> that's the only reason he would need to be bathed but he's not dirty anywhere, he doesn't stink. I just do not see the benefit of putting him in the tub. If he was dirty, if he was saturated in urine, if he had poop all over him, I would certainly go ahead and bathe him, but I, I don't think it's necessary. He also, as you could see in the video, really did not like the blow dryer. I only used it for about a minute just to try and get as much of the staticky hair off of him as I could, and that was it. So if he was wet, it would take me a lot longer to dry him and he would have to sit under the dryer for more time. And I'm just gonna use my judgment today and decide that I don't think he needs to be bathed. But I am glad that he brought him in because he definitely needed to be shaved today. His coat doesn't seem like it's a coat that's easy to maintain or brush out. It is a little strange. He's definitely calmed down now from when he was before when I was shaving him. So that's definitely beneficial to finishing off his groom. So the break worked. Okay, I'm going to brush him out now. Mostly just his tail and a little bit on his legs. They become, see how staticky he is? They become like little dust mops to all of the hair that's been shaved off of him and it just collects. So I have to brush all of that out before I trim up his paws a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is get some of my cologne spray and spray him a bit because that will help with the static. Even his paw pads 
are extremely dry and flaky, which is also not something I see very often in cats, especially indoor cats. Interesting. Okay. Okay, kitty kitty. Now I just gotta do your face. Stay there. Oh my god, this staticky hair is gonna be the death of me. Okay. You're all done. You're all done. So even though Koji hated this experience, he is going to go home feeling a lot better than he did when he came in. He is mat free. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe or follow button for more furry content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in a few days.